Well, hello and welcome to the video. Last week, I gave you my top 5 tips on becoming a better survivor at the game of Dead by Daylight. So today, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna give you my top 5 tips on becoming a better killer. So let's get right into it. The first tip on this list is to learn shot strikes. Now, as killers, we constantly try hitting survivors by launching at them. Now, launching is great when the survivor keeps running on a straight path or if they're trying to vault through a window or maybe even drop a pallet. However, lunging would not always work when you come up against a competent survivor who is pretty good at juking and evading your lunges. The best way to counter such movement from a survivor is to learn how to execute shot strikes. Executing a shot strike can be done by simply tapping the attack button and not holding it which would result into a launch attack. So you, to become a better killer means you have to learn how to execute shot strikes. The next tip on this list would be to try anticipating the movement of the survivor. Now, as killer, the less time you spend chasing the survivor, the more time you'll be able to spend hunting other survivors. Now, one of the best ways you can quickly end the chase is to try anticipating the movement of the survivor you're chasing. For example, if you see a survivor heading towards a window, there's a good chance they're planning to vault through it. Now, rather than trying to vault through the same window, you can simply go around it. This will greatly help to shorten the distance between you and the survivor, thus making the chase shorter. Tip number three on this list of becoming a better killer is to play as the survivor. Now, just like in my previous video where I mentioned that to become a better survivor, you have to play as the killer. Well, the same applies here as well. To become a better killer, you have to learn how to play as a survivor. When you play as a survivor, you begin to understand how survivors move, how they work with other survivors to get generators done and escape. You will better begin to understand how survivor perks work, how perks like Sprint Burst, Dead Heart, Burrow Time and so on, how all these perks work. When you become better as a survivor, you will become better as a killer. Now, campaign is without question one of the most controversial things a killer can do in a game. Now, I generally do not encourage campaign as I feel the killer will simply waste time while the other survivors get generators done and escape. However, there are two scenarios where camping can actually be a viable strategy. The first scenario is where the survivors have been overly altruistic. Now, what I mean here is when you hook a survivor, you turn around and you see one or two other survivors instantly trying to go for the save. Now, the whole benefit of not camping in the first place is that you have time to go and hunt other survivors. But why wouldn't you camp when those very survivors instead come to your location? The second scenario where camping is a viable strategy is at the end of the game when the exit gates have been opened. So let's say you've had a very bad game and you've not been able to kill any of the survivors thus far. Camping the one survivor you've been able to get on the hook is your best chance of securing at least one kill. Now this obviously sucks for the survivor on the hook, but hey, your job as a killer is to kill and not make the survivors happy. The last and perhaps the most important tip on this list is to optimize your use of perks. Now as a killer, you can use 4 perks per game, but so can the survivors, which basically means that your 4 killer perks are going up against a combined total of 16 survivor perks. This is why it's extremely important that you use the best combination of perks that you can for each killer. It is important to also keep in mind that not every perk is equally effective on every killer. For example, using tracking perks like Whispers or Spice from the Shadow is a great choice for killers like the Trapper, the Hillbilly, and even the Huntress, but they are wasted on other killers like the Doctor and the Wraith, who are naturally very good at tracking. So before arming your killers with perks, take into account what their natural abilities are. Well, there you have it, my top 5 tips on becoming a better killer at Dead by Daylight. What did you think about these tips? Do you agree with them? Are there other tips that you'd like to share with the community? Feel free to post them in the comment section below and be sure to check me out when I stream Dead by Daylight on this very channel, Monday to Saturday from 6.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, keep hunting and killing those pesky survivors. Ha ha ha.